I was in this little greenhouse. And um, Beyonce Knowles was there. And she was in the house with me. With some kids. Some little children. And I don't know if she was someone else at first. But she ended up being Beyonce Knowles. I, don't, I know there was more to it, but I cannot remember everything. And my body is very weak in my mind. So she was in the house with me. And uh, I believe she had like the blonde hair. She looked kind of like she did when she first came out. Like fever in the morning, fever when it's late at night. You give me fever. She reminded me of the times when she was singing that song, like when she just came out, like and went solo. And she was in the house, like a little house. And it was light green, like a very light, light mint, light green house. And it was a nice house. And there was more that took place, but... <laughs> I have to think about that, you know, for a little minute, but she, uh, we was in the house and there was kids in the house. I don't know what discussions was happening, but, oh, I remember there was people, it was nighttime and then it was daytime, so it was nighttime and I noticed there was people watching the house everybody else in the house was asleep and I was up and there was a few lights on in the house and when I noticed that somebody was coming from a house across the street towards the house we was in I went through the house and started cutting off all the lights and I couldn't really get all the lights off at first because there was little lamps here, little lamps there. And the house had many rooms in the front, like in the, in the lower part of the house. So I went and cut off all the lights. And then I kind of peeked out the curtain and looked and I saw a black man. And he was trying to come towards the house, but then he took off running after I had cut off all the lights. And I started looking, he took off running. And like he was finna try to come and do something to people in the house. But then when he realized that somebody was watching him or something else made him run. And then uh, it was like people in the house knew, but they just didn't care. Like they, it's like they just didn't care. And I was the only one still worried about it. You know, still up looking, trying to figure out what he think he doing. Like, when I was kind of scared. But then, like, I could just see the outside at night just plotting all around the house. So the next day, like, I guess it was daytime. And Beyonce Nose was in the house. And it was kids in the house. And all of a sudden, like it's like almost like everybody was happy and talking, and I don't know, I don't remember any words that was discussed. But she had on like a red dress, pretty red dress, long blonde curly hair, and it was kids in the house. And then all of a sudden, this. Illuminati man pulled up in the driveway and he had like a red hatchback like it was a real clean like I don't know it looked like it could have been like a Cadillac or just something real real new and clean and he had he looked like he was like Italian like he was older with brown dark hair or black hair you know where it starts to thin out in the front slick back and then he had on a black suit with the little white cuffs, 
real clean. And he didn't look like he was tall. He was a little bit, you know, chubby, but not fat. Kind of had one of them Danny DeVito, like a taller, skinnier Danny DeVito look. And he pulled up, like, you know, riding in the, uh, because it was like a little small house. And, you know, there wasn't like a, a real big driveway. It was like one of them paved out dirt driveways. <clears throat> and he pulled in on the side. And when he pulled in, like, I seen him. And Beyonce and all the kids just dipped out the house. They was gone. Like, they ran so gosh darn fast. They was out of there. And the man was outside, and I couldn't figure out what to do because they left me so quick. I was like, why am I the only one in the house? That's what I was saying to myself. Why am I the only one in the house? And then I was looking outside, trying to figure out what I was going to do because I would, I didn't want to answer the door for him. I was not finna answer the door for him after everybody else just ran. So then I was thinking, oh, I'm going to go hide upstairs in the attic because he had an attic upstairs. But then I was like, no, I ain't finna do that. Because he might find me up there. Like, he might be thorough. Like, you know, I was thinking maybe if I hide in the attic till he leave, he won't find me. You know what I'm saying? Hiding in the attic. But then I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to hide in the attic. I got to sneak up out of here, too. Because they caught me off guard when I seen them. Everybody else ran. I still was in the house trying to figure out, like, what the hell was going on. Then I ran out the house. Uh, I looked out the door to see if he was coming around the back because they had ran out the back door. And he was pulling, he pulled around the side. And so I was like, man, I'm finna have to run out the same way they did out the back door. And so I ran out the back door and I seen all of them in this Hispanic lady yard. She was an older Hispanic woman who stayed next door and she had a fence up. And she had some, like, short brown, light brown hair, like, real light, light, light brown. And um, she had a hole in the gate. And the kids was climbing through the hole in the gate, getting in her yard. That's how they got in her yard. And then I had on a little bubble jacket, and I was finna try to, I tried to get through the little hole, but I couldn't fit. And then I seen uh, Beyonce just opened up the little gate and went in. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm finna go in through the little 